Lo-Fi Polish Star, how we doing out there? Dr. P right here, talking our famous question, what's going on in the world today? And today we're starting a new kind of episode called Country in the Spotlight. And for these spotlights, we'll be focusing in on one of the almost 200 countries of the world to dig in a little deeper as to the who the country is and, and what they got going on lately. And, you know, today we're going to start simple, but do deeper, deeper dives as we go along. Today we're doing the South American country of Colombia. Let's dig in. Colombia, a South American country in the northwest corner of the continent, bordering Panama to the west, the Caribbean Sea to the north, Venezuela to the east, Brazil to the southeast, Peru to the south, Ecuador to the southwest, and the Pacific Ocean to the west. Colombia celebrates its Independence Day on July 20th, from back in the day of 1810, as it was a former Spanish colony. Today, the country boasts a population of almost 50 million people, making it the 29th most populous country in the world. And the official language of the country is Spanish. The type of government is a presidential republic, and according to Freedom House, which measures the levels of freedoms in a country from 0 to 100, 0 being the least free and 100 being the most free, Colombia is rated free with a 70 out of 100 score. A democracy, if you will. And, you know, Colombia's economy, as, as per GDP, GDP in 2022 is ranked 32nd in the world. That's good news. That's pretty good out of almost 200 countries in the world, right? And their GDP growth rate is ranked 38th in the world, meaning they are doing pretty good by these economic measures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got a good size economy, got one of the best growing economies. But what about, what about their GDP? GDP per capita. That is, 2022 GDP per capita was $15,600. Sounds pretty good, right? But in comparison to the two previous economic indicators, it ranks Colombia as 104th in the world. It's funny how quickly a country's global ranking can change, depending on the variable you rank it by. But how about this next one, which is always one I like to look for at every country? Internet domestication rates, which means how many internet users are there in Colombia? And survey says, 73% of the population of Colombia are internet users, which is a pretty high percentage. It ranks the country as 26th in the world for the most internet-connected country. But enough, enough, enough of all the, the stats of the country, and we want to know what's been happening in Colombia lately, right? Well, just this week, the Colombian government suspended the arrest warrants of nine high-ranking members of a group called Segunda Marquitalia, a break-off of a group you may be more familiar with, the FARC, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, the former military wing of the Colombian Communist Party, dating back all the way to the 1960s, one of the world's oldest insurgent groups. But the FARC signed a peace treaty with the Colombian government in 2016. But Segunda Margitalia broke off to do its own thing because, because they didn't like the details of the agreement. But now the government has suspended the arrest warrants of nine of its leaders to start new peace talks to see about really bringing it all to a close. Again, one of the longest military insurgencies in the world, dating back almost 60 years years, potentially ending out in Colombia. We'll be keeping an eye out to, to let you know how this goes on, people. But that's, that's Colombia, and that's our, our first, you know, country in the spotlight episode, my friends. You know, and don't forget to connect to us everywhere, people, for all your local lo-fi updates, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, we're all over the place. Love you, lo-fi. And this, just a snap of what's going on in the world today. I'm ready to bring it down, man, like. Lo-Fi is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you later. Pickering, signing off. <laughs>